There's no question why you'd want someone like McLeod Bethel Thompson in your organization. He's your traditional QB, 6'4", pocket passer, gets the ball out of his hands uh, quick, but is willing to hold on to it and take some hits. Trey Ford is the opposite. He's making throws off platform. He's buying time with his legs. He's viable to tuck and run. And quite frankly, you're not doing Trey Ford right unless you design run game into mm -hmm. the, the offense. If anything, if there was a QB they had on the roster that would profile as someone who could learn from McLeod Bethel Thompson, it would be the 6'5 pocket passer in Taylor Cornelius, who they gave money to last offseason and cut this offseason. What do you make of the utilization of the different styles at the QB position for Edmonton? I, I mean, I, to be honest with you, like if I try to put myself in Trey Ford's shoes, initially I probably was a little bit bitter. Um, not really excited, obviously, at the possibility and likelihood, to be honest with you, of not being a starter in this in 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 you know the following season after, quite frankly. I was the bright light for the Edmonton Elks. But when you take a step back and you look at it, I think it might be a good thing. And, and here's the reason why I say this. If I'm a coach, I'm putting my coaching hat on or general manager hat on for the Edmonton Elks. I'm looking at the game and I'm watching the game. And the thing that Trey Ford does the best, really, I'm always holding my breath. His ability to, you know get out of the pocket and, and and avoid hits and and sprint out and get first downs it's 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 absolutely entertaining for the general fan but as a coach and, and a general manager you're holding your breath because you're one hit away from an injury and then you're asking yourselves where are we going to from here on out how do we change our offensive game plan from here on out and so the fact that now he's gonna get to like uh chris jones mentioned Get to learn under an established quarterback who is complete opposite. You talked about from McLeod Bethel Thompson. He now gets to see what it's like to see the game through a, a, a pocket quarterback, a pocket passer quarterback in McLeod and, and the ability to, to learn. I'm telling you right now, Trey Ford is going to grow tremendously over the next year, two years, and for years to come long after McLeod Bethel Thompson will have retired from this league trey ford will absolutely enjoy the company of uh of mcleod and the way that i know mac he's probably already called him and let him know how much he wants him to succeed that's the guy that i know in mac and he's that type of leader he's going to try to make him better we, whether he plays or not and, and to be honest with you i i don't mind the change up that that quarterback locker room will um be providing for the opponents that they're going to be playing against if I'm advising Trey Ford, I'm in his ear, I'm in his camp, I'm going to him, I'm saying, listen, I know you're upset. I know you're angry. I, I get it. I rate it. That's what makes you great. 24-hour rule. Be upset. Be pissed off. Then we turn the page. And we are looking at the opportunity mm -hmm. that this is. And, and, and channel all that energy, that frustration, into your work. This is going to be a scenario where we're going to look back and said, this is the period of time where you got out the mud, where you really honed your craft and were better for it. Now I'm going to say, let's go to the CFL website, cfl.ca. Let's look around the league at the quarterbacks you were trying to emulate. Vernon Adams Jr., multiple stops. Success was not linear. Cody Fajardo, the guy who was on stage with the Grey Cup and the MVP award, was ran out of town, was a backup, was a short yardage guy. Zach Claros multiple organizations it was hidden on the practice roster in toronto this is not the nfl where we draft you in the first round first pick overall you we come in produce. and and you need to produce right away the person who needs to produce right away in edmonton is chris jones that's right he's getting two paychecks and he's been doing it for multiple years and if they are not better if not in the playoffs then playoffs he might be Out looking for work. He, Trey Ford's going to be in this league for a long, long time. time. So you, the, the message to him is this is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, you want to be at your best and, and not just starting right now. So soak this up. Learn as much as you can um, because name the QB. That, that's great. Whether it's the guy who people compare you to and Damon Allen 
Ricky Ray, Anthony Calvillo, all of them, all of them had a period just like this in their career. If they brought in, you know, Drew Brown, that's one thing. They brought in someone who's in the back nine of their career. One, maybe two years. So this is an apprenticeship for you eventually being the guy in, in a better spot than if we just throw you out there and you just take licks for 18 games. That's right. So That's I, right. I think as much as I, listen, I'm petty. If it was me and I was like, oh, really? I I saved you and this is how you do me? I, I would feel a type of way. But in the aggregate, I actually think this will be good. And I think the, the good thing, though, is understanding personalities. Stylistically and on the birth certificate, these guys could not be more different in McLeod, Bethel, Thompson, and Trey Ford. But from a personality standpoint, both great dudes, uh, both dudes who, for them, it's family, faith football, and that's it, and both football nerds. So I actually think it'll go on, uh, you know, swimmingly in Edmonton. So Trey Ford camp, the, the free Trey Ford camp, listen, I'm with you. I've been saying that for a while. And I think that conversation was warranted last year. And eventually they did free him and he saved everybody. He delivered. I, I think this year it's a bit different. <laughs>